me look at it. There should be two names on it. Yep, put that on the screen. So, this is brother asshole and sister whole. I didn't say that, I said asshole. Asshole. That's what I'm gonna call him. Brother asshole and sister Ahola. Ahola is one of the sisters we just read about in Ezekiel 23. These are two members in, in IUIC. Uh, 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 go back to the first one now, or the second one, Canada. So we're gonna talk about brother asshole, as a Z. Oh, I'm not saying the word. So now brother asshole, as you can see at the top, he's married. That's his lovely wife on the left. Sister Ahola on the bottom left is married to brother so-and-so. Okay, now give me the next one. What happened? This all took place during men's conference. Oh, Sir Liam, can you read this? Yes, sir. Uh, now, brother asshole, asshole is the one in the blue. The sister is the one in black on the left. These are text messages. Go ahead. So she says, she's, you so nasty. My ass went straight to sleep after I sent that last message. LOL. LOA, A, Bay. I really am, and I, I, I'll talk you through that shit. Y'all good, though? OMG, I would love that. No cap. Emoji. You, yeah, we good, though. Why you ass? When are y'all leaving today? Finna head out now. I'm gonna hop in the shower, mama. And hell here, I can make you come hard as F. So remember, Damn. this is brother asshole who's married talking to another brother's wife in the in the same congregation. Go ahead, next one. Me, uh, cause I want to be with you bad as fuck. Don't be smoking no garbage or high. And yeah, I was the one told him we was peeping time. I don't know, I really want to be the one in your life. Never now, now, brother asshole just had a baby, by the way. <laughs> you so nasty, my ass went straight to sleep after I sent that last message. Kisses. Why you can't make it come again? Nasty. Then it got the tongue, the, the squirt yeah. thing. Got it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you so nasty, my ass went straight to sleep after I sent that last message. Go ahead. Now, top right corner was a, a, he, during a men's conference, he went to the bathroom and took a picture of his penis and sent it to her. Then went and sat down to her, next to her husband, talking about Shalom, Mark, Shalom, men's conference. He went to the bathroom and took a picture of his penis and sent it to her. Then went and sat down to her, next to her husband, talking about Shalom, Mark, Shalom. You can't make this stuff up. Kill him. See, that's when you gotta close the doors. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of nasty. I like to hear this stuff. <laughs> okay, Bishop, Bishop, just I'm messing sorry, with you. Yes, yes. Bishop, messing with you. Just so you know, wink, wink. LOL, LOL, listen, I have my hands at 10 and 2, sir, and was definitely on four wheels driving careful as hell. Laugh my ass off, gave me a whole menu, period. I, I already know you taste good as fuck. Just by what you eat and drink, I feel like I'm going to still be sucking, trying to taste more nut. You're going to taste so good. OMG, I'm picturing it. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises on and glory unto Yahweh. Bahasham Yawishai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double on unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000 men. Right? The name of this one is A Culture of Adultery, Wickedness, and Death, still perpetuated in certain camps. Right? Hashtag IYC. And, and um, the video you just saw is going around around the brotherhood. You know, um, this, this video is a response to the elder man after Zakba out in South Carolina. The name of this video was, Eventually the spirit of jealousy will take revenge for adultery. You know, and he's 100% correct. You know, the spirit of jealousy must take revenge eventually. You know, you be hearing, um, this is not the only case, you know, we're hearing about, about men going with other men's wives in these camps, IYC, etc. All right. You know, and um, all that you see now, you know, all that being brought to light 
you know, who knows how much you know of it being done in darkness. There are probably many, many more cases of this happening, you know, among this congregation. Whereas Bishop Nate, you know, his school, you know, this was just in his school, and I was ex he exposed this wickedness. You know, and, uh, and as the elder said, some of you want to say, you know, why, why are we bringing this out? You know, because it's important to bring it out. All right. In the first place, he was the one who exposed it. He was the one who played that video. He made fun of it, made light of it. You know, he laughed. All right. When, when, it's, when it's, this, is, this is deadly serious. All right. This is deadly serious. And this is a, this is a guy, you know, Bishop Nathaniel is a, is a, is a guy, you know, he's, a, he's an elder, you know, who, who was back there in One West. You know, our beloved Apostle, El, Apostle Elder Taha, you know, Elder Apostle Taha, you know, he goes in on, 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 on um, he and Elder Apostle Gaba, you know, going on um, how things were in the old one West school, you know, and how Elder Apostle Taha, you know, you know, came out, you know, and, and told them, you know, that, that that's going off, was going off with the women in the camp, you know, wearing, wearing certain clothes, and even if they're not wearing skimpy clothes or short clothes, you know, it's still a distraction to the wood, you know, to the, to the, to the, to the um, commission that we have, you know, as prophets and men of the Lord, all right? So it's, it, he knows his ill advice. He, he, he must be aware about the, the amount of adultery that our elders talk about that was happening back in that old school, you know, and that's why, that's why he's guilty, you know? It is his fault, all right? You have in these large, these huge congregations, these schools with men, mixing with women, all right? Uh, um, my, men, married men and married women, you know, you know, and, and really and truly, you know, it, it seems that he's really doing this all for, for, for pub, as a publicity stunt, you know, for viewership. All right. Because these are things that the, the average Jake, when they hear this, they, they like, um, as we call it in Trinidad, bacchanal, you know, going back into the Greek word bacchus, you know, confusion, you know, and as I say, lacquerie. All right. You know, um, he should have just kicked them out. He should have just done all this in private, but he brought it out. So now we have all kind of videos coming out, you know, which is the will of the Lord, you know, especially among the men of Great Millstone, to rebuke and reprove, to get things in order, to get the house of the Lord, the tabernacle of King David in order. Because we believe there are righteous men and women among the IYC as well. All right? But just as the elder said, you know, um, it, it eventually, all this is going to lead to a bloodshed. They're going to have something, you know, more than likely, that's gonna happen and, and, and the spirit of jealousy is gonna jump on one of these men who who being um who being wronged. Alright, and, and all these things are a sign, you know, of the spirit that any in the IYC and other such camps like the ISUPK, right, where there's um a love of money, alright? A worldly, a worldly spirit, you know, still in these men, which means what they they not they've repented or maybe they haven't repented and they're not converted either. Now let's get one precept to start it off. This is the book of um the book of first John chapter 2 and verse 15. It reads Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in them. And these men love the world, you no know, beginning with Bishop Nate, who is worth over 125 million, from what they say on, on, on the internet. Alright? So he told, you know, these men we believe took the bag. All right, took the gift. That's why they speak wrong. That's why the doctrine is off. And really and truly, it all starts with what the doctrine, that wrong doctrine. You know, which even it starts when you go deeper, calling on the wrong names. You know, calling on um, Musa and Christ blessed instead of Jesus, instead of Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, it says um, First John two and sixteen. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes. Right, the lust of the flesh. This one you only mean literal flesh, it's woman, but it is too. The lust of the eyes, you know, the money, all right, what the, the, the fame, the acclaim, all right, you know, you know, things that the bishop Nate, you know, seems to like, all right, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the heavenly Father abideth forever. Because you know, when you give up these things, you know, you choose a spiritual path. All right, at the end of the day, you're going to be accomplishing what the law of Yahabashim Yahushai more and more. All right, you know, through the grace that's providing us in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. All right, so so you best believe, you know, you best believe that this they're saying what all we're seeing here, 
is 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 not all that's going on. There's a lot more that's going on in these camps. A lot of more wickedness, which really is going back into that black culture, right? Just extended, you know, into these camps, brought into the truth, you know. That that's basically what it is. All right, you know, and having having men around other men's wives, married women around other men is a serious a serious business. It's not something to jest at, to laugh at. You know, to make fun of, you know, to make light of, all right? Something to learn from. It's something that, you know, certain changes should be made immediately, you know? You should be stopping these uh, these mixed men and women uh, classes and school, you know, you know, with immediate effect. If you're really serious about the word of Yabashim Yawashai. But no, these guys love money. And these women, you know, coming into the congregation, they provide a lot of money for these men so you got to understand the root cause the root of this and and the intention behind it all right so they ain't gonna do that but you, but you want to come out and, and pretend like you know you're exposed and what's going on no you the cause nigga you know slack for the for the for that for that using that word all right but but that but that's really what it is you know you know it's, it, it's wickedness and it's wickedness now let's get into some precepts Let's get the book of um, Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 10, right? It reads, And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Now, does that sound funny? Does that sound like a joke? Does that sound like, like um, you can make light of it? No, it's death. That's really what these two people you know who he exposed you know are, are worthy of death all right so it ain't no joke this ain't no joke all right and um really and truly as the scripture said if you look up on another woman you know like that with adult with adultery in your mind you know you already committed the sin all right let's get the book of um the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 28 it says what but i say unto you all right, in fact, I read from verse 27, Matthew 5 and 27. You have heard that it was said by them of old time, right? By back in the, what? the laws and the statutes, right? What we just read. Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after had committed adultery with her already in his heart, which is her he heart is your mind. Right now, the NLT says, But I say anyone who even looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her and his son. And this is not talking about a woman who's single, a woman without a husband. This is talking about a woman who's married, a woman who has a man. All right? You know? And this is what the Lord said it was better to do. It says, And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. You know, because the, the, the punishment for adultery is death. You know, that goes hell going into the to, to the grave. Alright? You know? And that and that's where it is. But it all starts where in your mind. It says what? Commit not adultery already when his heart is mine. By having men and women together and creating a space, because that's what Nathan Nate is doing, starting from Bishop Nate. Creating a space for wickedness to occur. You know, um, you know, you know, for, for women, for men to watch at other men's wife lustfully. You you create in that space. Alright? A woman's supposed to be a woman's place is in her husband's house. Alright? Because the scriptures say woman is a weaker vessel. Now let's get in some precepts quickly. This is the book of Sirach. Sirach chapter 25. And verse 20, 24. Now is everything written up four times was what written for our learning. You know, you don't know the scriptures and don't apply it. That's not having understanding. Alright, Sirach. 25 and 24 it says of the woman came the beginning of sin right through her and through her we all die through her we all die so wherever there's woman there's what there's wickedness all right wherever there's woman there's what there's wickedness all right Sirach 42 and verse 13 let's get 13 all right it says for from garments commit a moth right you know a moth eat, eat garments you know and from women, wickedness. All right, so some of these women, they're wicked as hell. All right, when you put them among the men, 
you know you best believe sooner or later it's gonna have some evil some wickedness some nastiness gonna occur right like what happened there in in Nate's, in bishop nathaniel's congregation all right now let's get the book of um sirach 26 26 and verse 8 it reads a drunken woman and a gather abroad causes great anger and she will not cover her own shame right a drunken woman and a gather what does a gather abroad means somebody who not in a house abiding within a house and that's what Nate is encouraging these women outside the house in the congregation around among men being married women all right all right which is bound as the elders say to cause more and more wickedness which is going to lead to what to the to 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 spread our jealousy jumping on a man you know and, and and it's going to have some kind of bloodshed eventually they're tempting they're tempting they're tempting fate as they say right verse 9 says the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and her eyelids right a lot of these women they look at a man the man seem to have more money uh, um more fame more social status you know they, they hide pergamos by nature you know you're looking at um a man you hear the man was sending the pictures of his rod to the other woman all right all manner of wickedness all right talking about you know they, they want to um li listen this is wickedness verse 10 says if thy daughter be shameless keep her in straightly keep her in what in her house lest she abuse herself over much liberty this the iyc's affording these women too much liberty and their doctrine is off all right watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against yeah these women have wanton eyes looking at all kind of men all right she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he had when he had found a fountain and drink of every water near her now that 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 word it was words there are vitally important near her all right and that's the point no other man supposed to be near your wife man you know and that's what the IUIC is pushing these large congregations these so-called schools which are schools of wickedness right first and foremost not teaching the right doctrine secondly having women sitting near to men right other fountains which, which i don't have to explain to you what that means all right in a congregation you know you know getting to know you know being familiar with other 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 men you know no other men know learning about your wife which is off as hell you know and it, it, it ought to be reproved you know but yabashim yawashai is going to fix all this in due time this is the book of um ecclesiasticus chapter 9 and verse 9 it says what sit not at all with another man's wife nor sit down with her in thine arms right clearly they're sitting down with other men need is guilty of this you know having married women sit down to other men to, to men who are not the husband nor sit down at her within thine arms obviously the, the, this is what's been going on and spend not thy money with her at the wine lest thine heart incline unto her and so through thy desire thou fall into destruction so you know it's, it all starts as a said in the mind you know and uh, but the setup in iuic you know is 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 is, is making this happen it's facilitating it all right let's get the word facilitate all right facilitate facilitate to make something easier right you make an adultery easier and eventually you're going to make bloodshed easier all right because when the spirit of jealousy falls on his man man you know a man you know basically Im imagine a man imagining his wife getting pounded by another man come on or uh, as the elder said or oh, you know elder matasak matasak but said all bets are off all right yeah right? to facilitate means to make something easier all right you know it come from the latin facilis for easy it means to make something easier or more likely to happen there you have it you know there you have it so you 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 you, you doing that right whereas a man so have his wife in his household you know uh being taught by him all right when he goes to classes all right no you don't have that there's no hedge all right and that's the problem this is the book of um scriptures don't lie ecclesiastical chapter 36 verse 24 it says he that getteth a wife beginneth a possession a help like unto himself and a pillar of rest here it is you facilitating 
is women being a help to other men, you know, satisfying the urges of other men. And that's another thing the doctrine goes off in terms of um, it does not allow for a man to have more than one wife, which is against the laws of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and against prophecy also. All right? You know, these men now, you know, they, they, but he, these men are around other men's wives now and, that, and, and looking to, you know, commit an adultery. All right, this is what you do in Bishop Nate. It says, verse 25, where there, where no hedge is, there the possession is spoilt. Right? Because why? Other men tearing down your woman. Other men pounding out your woman. All right? There's no hedge. There's no protection. A man not putting a protection around his woman. All right? And he that have no wife will wander up and down mourning. So you get the point. All right? Where there's no hedge, the possession is spoilt. And this woman, that woman is spoilt. You know? A woman needs to be controlled. All right? A woman needs to be in, in that level of control. And the, and the jealousy is definitely going to fall up, come upon these men eventually. And it's going to cause, you know, it may very well lead to the destruction of the IUIC. It says Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20. It says, My son, keep thy, com thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of thy mother. Right, which is the laws of Yahabashim Yahushai. Bind them continually upon the heart, thine heart, and tie them around thy neck. And this is talking about what philosophies. Right? The the philosophy of Yahabashim Yahushai, the true proper doctrine. You know, which is like unto what a strange woman. It says, um, verse 22, when thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is a light. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life, right? So, which is a corrective discipline. Discipline, you know, which is not what the IOIC is practicing. It says to keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of the strange woman, right? It says, lust not after her beauty, which is talking about the philosophies, right? Lust not after her beauty in thy heart, neither let her take thee with thy the eyelids, right? This is spiritual talk. It says, for by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Which is again, philosophy. Now, that's where, this is where it gets literal. It becomes literal. Verse 27, it says, can a man take fire in his bosom, and his clothes not be burnt? No, that can't happen. It says, can one go upon hot coals, and his feet not be burnt? We know, we know you're going to get burnt if you go upon hot coals. So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, Whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent. All right? Adultery. Men do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. Right? But whosoever committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. A wound and dishonor shall he get. And his reproach shall not be wiped out. In other words, in that, it ain't got no forgiveness for that. For jealousy is the rage of a man. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. Right? Jealousy is the rage of a man. It's spirit of jealousy. And he will not spare in the day of vengeance. So, best believe, if this continues, it may very well lead to bloodshed. It says, verse 35, He will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though thou givest many gifts. Right, so it is. It ain't gonna. Things ain't gonna work out well. That's why these things are happening to warn, you know, the IUIC, you know, the men of the Lord doing these videos. All right, uh, yeah, because at the end of the day, you know, this <laughs> disobeying the laws of Yahweh, because they always talk about the laws, the statutes, the commandments. All right, but but this is what you are facilitating. You know, you are facilitating adultery. All right, and those who do that, they're not gonna inherit the kingdom of the Lord. You know, this is um. 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 9, it reads, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the heavenly Father? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, right? Nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the heavenly Father. Right? You're not going to inherit it. All right, and for those those of you disobedient, you know, basically going into what adultery again, Revelation 21 and 7. 
it says what he that overcometh shall inherit all things and i will be his power what is you over overcome the flesh and that's the condition of the battle it's the spirit versus the flesh all right that's the condition that we all have to fight it says and i will be his power and he shall be my son but the fearful and unbelieving because if you don't if you don't believe in the lord you could go and sleep with your brother's wife right you don't have that fear in you right and abominable which is going into adultery too and murderers and whoremongers right and sorcerers right because we've been, been uh, uh, disobedience is as a sin of witchcraft first samuel 15 and 23 right disobedience as a sin of witchcraft so you disobey the laws of the lord will tell you not to commit adultery right so you 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 are sorcerer right and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake that burn it with fire and brimstone which is the second death so you best believe you know you know um stay away from this kind of shit you know in fact stay away from the iyc because this is what's going on over there all right and these other camps all right and with that in a way adultery is not a nice thing it's, it's, it's a nasty evil work all right and it's gonna it, 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 it this is being revealed and exposed all right for a reason all right by yahweh basham yahweh shai to get the elect in the right place in the right doctrine all right i pray this lesson was edifying till next time shalom